OK. All right, guys, since we have extra time from testing, um, I'm going to lecture today for the next two and a half, three hours. So buckle up. We're going to start with um, you know, every class. We are going to go over rule of thirds, right? Rule of thirds is when you line up the person on the lines. It's broken up into nine sections, and we go from there. Now, moving on to the Cold War. The Cold War took place between approximately the 1950s until the 1980s. 1950s to 1980s. And during, and that, during time, that time, um, um, Russia, Russia and, and, the and the United States participated, States participated in a series of, series of, uh, series of uh, proxy, uh, wars, proxy wars, which led which to led the, to the uh, induction uh, of Jerry Lee Jerry Lewis, Lewis into the into Rock and Roll, Roll Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame. All right? So um, make sure you are taking notes, because there will be a 75-question um, test coming up uh, at the end of the period. So. From there, we're going to move on to what um, George Bush referred to as anyone, anyone, voodoo economics, voodoo economics, all right? Um, voodoo economics, all right? Who do you do? We do voodoo. It's what they used to say back in the day. Can I please stand up? I'm tired of this. Speaking of meat, um, back in the 80s, there was a great commercial for a yeah. Wendy's that Cheers. featured a hamburger and a little old lady that said, where's the beef? That was very funny. It's so funny. You guys should look it up. If only there if only was a way, there was to, a way look to look things look up, things up on, 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 on a small, on a small device, device where we could, we could look, look back, back in time. In time. Boy, Boy, that would be that fun. Would be okay, okay. okay. Anyway. anyway, eggs. 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 All right? right. Eggs, eggs are, are the way, the way that, that which, which came, came first, first, the chicken or the egg? Subsentinent, welcome back to a new episode of The Loft. You're with your favorite host, Natalia Paiva. Elena, oh my god, you're not gonna need for Halloween this year. Elena Paiva, and we'll have an amazing episode for you guys today. She thinks she's funny, bro. <laughs> 48, 49, 50. Ready or not, here I come. Find me so fast. She always helps me. Who? Her, silly. Hi, I'm Pam Vance. My occupation is retired, um, and I'm a member of Bridge to Grace Covenant Church. We started the Pumpkin Patch 13 years ago as the only fundraiser of the year the church has, and all of the money that we raise from the sale of pumpkins stays in our community helping families who need uh, food. Right now we are feeding 120 families per month and we are supporting three schools with their food pantries. And we have a lot of other projects of outreach, but all the money stays right here in the Roswell community. Oh, I think many blessings to, to many people. We have a prayer tent where people can leave prayers and our prayer team prays over them. And we have had a number of people who have prayed to become pregnant or to have healthy children 
and they come back and tell us that their prayers were answered through our church. To me personally, it's just, it's so much fun. Um, my husband and I partner every week, every Monday, and we work two to seven, and just meeting the people, the families who come, taking photos, helping them pick out pumpkins, um, it's just a wonderful experience. Well, this year we have had the best crop of pumpkins, uh, everything from white to pink to red to orange. And we had these wonderful pumpkins. They um, were orange and they had green spots all over them, like bumps, like warts on those. But they're so colorful and so beautiful. So that's what I bought for our front porch. I don't think this is a good idea, Ash. We shouldn't be here. Oh, come on, don't be scared. Come with me. What? Eris, come see this. Eris? Eris. I told you, you shouldn't be here. All right, I'm gonna go inside and grab some snacks real quick. All right, man. Can you fill up? Yeah, man. Hey, can you give me some Cheez-Its? Cheez-Its. And make sure the white cheddar? White cheddar. Yep. Thank you. Don't be scared. Just come with me. That is so stupid. That's honestly underrated. Carving pumpkins is an art form that needs to be appreciated. I think it's pretty underrated because like people can like express themselves through the pumpkin and they can do like fun designs and it just looks very cool. For me, honestly, kind of underrated. Not a lot of people take it seriously. It's a serious topic and we need to we get more into it. Carving pumpkins is so underrated. It's so much fun. Even if you're like 30, carving pumpkins is like so much fun, like you can just do anything, any design, funny, scary, anything, it's fun. Um, overrated. I don't like trick or treating, I just think that it's just too many candies and too sweet and just kids are everywhere and that's just not fun. I think it's overrated. Too much work, too little reward. Overrated. There's not enough candy sized houses anymore. Candy bar. There's not enough king sized candy bar houses anymore. That's a shame. Underrated. Trick or treating is so much fun. I still, I still go trick or treating no matter how old you are. Trick or treating is fun. Extremely overrated. It's too sweet. Um, tastes disgusting, and it's just really bad. I think it's overrated. If people think it's good, it's it's not. It's not good at all. It's terrible. Candy corn is incredibly overrated. It's like eating overly sweet wax. Nobody needs to be eating that. Candy corn is so overrated. It tastes like bad. Overrated. I don't like the movie. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it, honestly. I'm gonna say underrated then. I'm gonna say underrated. Um, that's overrated. That movie sucked. Haven't watched it, but probably underrated. Um, underrated. I think they're very fun and to go with your friends and just to have a fun time with them and you get scared and then you're just like, oh my gosh. I say underrated. They're pretty cool. They're scary. Haunted houses are underrated. Like, I become a different person when I'm in a haunted house. Like, ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> Haunted houses are so overrated. What's the fun of getting scared? Honestly, I hate getting scared. I hate like that's a big no. What's the point of having nightmares for like days? Getting scared is no, oh, no, so overrated. Not gonna lie. <laughs> All right, guys, coming up next on 96.3, don't be scared, just come with me. This one's a doozy, all right? You said you like roses, right? Yeah, thank you. Of course. What's up, Centennial? Welcome back to a new episode of The Loft. You're here with your favorite host, Natalia. I'm just kidding. I'm just here to make a quick announcement for you guys. So, basically, if you attend this Friday and next Friday football games, you will be entering into a raffle to win an all-sport pass to attend any Centennial sporting event all year long. All you have to do is go to the games, of course, and once you enter the stadium, look for the sign and the QR code, and that's basically it. So make sure you attend both games and support your team. Go Knights! Hi, I'm Mr. Beekner. I'm the AV teacher here at Centennial, and I'm going to be looking at pictures of my students when they were young and trick-or-treating and try to guess who they are. Do, 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 do. Um, I'm going to say that this is you. Yes. Yes! <laughs> that, I'm going to say, is Cammie. Hmm, how many guesses do I get? Three. Okay. Um, the brown hair, um, is it Julia? Yes! yes! Are, Gosh, this is hard, because this is a little baby. Um, is this one Cammy? Yes! This one's easy. Yes. That's Josie. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that looks like Lauren. <laughs> this is, is this Jordan? Yes. <laughs> He's good. Oh, that's easy. That's Nicole. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Batman with a mask. Makes it a little harder. Mm, that's a hard one. I don't know. Who is it? Leah. Ah, okay. Now we see. Pink Batman. That has got to be... Jade. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's it. Ching, ding, ding. <laughs> Bridge in the river. Please come find me. I'm cold. Elena, let's go. That is missing. Don't trust her. That's no, not her. They took her too. Don't be scared. Just come with me. And you're watching The Loft. And for the people that don't know, that's a C and a 100. <laughs> Are you dressing up as anybody for Halloween? Yeah, for Halloween, I'm going to be the devil. 
The devil? That's what's up. I'm, or, as... <laughs> I'm Woody and my sister's Buzz. I'm going to be a military girl. I'm a dragon. I got a full onesie going on. Talladega Nights. A pirate. A pirate. Um, I'm being Bugs Bunny from the Toon Squad. Okay. What are you dressing up as for Halloween? Nothing. I'm grounded. Oh. Yeah. Guys, don't get grounded Halloween weekend. What is your favorite candy? Twix. Kit Kats. What is your favorite Halloween candy? Mmm, Reese's. The, uh, um, candy corn? Yeah, don't yeah. Oh, candy corn are yeah. so good! Yeah. Yo, I totally forgot about candy corn. I gotta go yeah. sour Skittles. Sour Skittles. That is the best answer we've heard all day. Low key. <laughs> Look at Carson. OMG. Oh, Ooh, a good Reese's. Just... So good. Um, I like the M&Ms. Definitely the Reese's pumpkin. Please tell me, are there gonna be any Halloween TikToks this week? Uh, this this week, I don't know, but uh, for sure next week on Monday. All right, no cringe ones though, right? No, no. no. All right, all right. W. No promises. All right, all right. What's your name? Rodrigo. Rodrigo, can you spell Halloween for me? H A L L O W E E N. All right, good job, bro. Good job. Good job. Next, Halloween. H A L L O W E E N. H A L L O W E N. I don't know. E E E E E Bro, what? How do you not know how to spell Halloween? All right, you did not know before you looked at your phone. Yes, I did. No, I did. Yo, Cody. Okay, so can you guys spell candy with two letters? It's so easy. Oh, C A N D Y W I T H two L E T T E R S. Was that right? No. <laughs> it's C and Y. <laughs> Get well soon. Thank you. What has a jack but what has a jack but no lantern? A Wait, car? that's not the joke. A car? <laughs> a car? So, hi guys, welcome to Weekly Update. This will be very poorly thrown together because we are out of time and it is Thursday. And this is the scariest Halloween costume I could think of. I'm a wiener. Everyone off your phones. We'll wait. We'll wait. We tried really hard this time. Really hard. Yeah. yeah. Young girl looking to be picked up by her father from pre-K was surprised to see two dads waiting for her, both claiming to be her father. Fortunate situation for her as I have no one claiming to be mine. Wow. Very cool. Jeff Bezos, a famous bald man, has predicted a recession. Elon Musk joins to prepare with him. Gotta love those multi-billionaires just being able to escape things. I know someone who escaped. Shut up. Van life is just glorified homelessness, a 33-year-old woman remarks. She decided that she was going on a life on wheels because of social media. She was quickly dumbfounded to find out that there's things like nature that would get in the way. Things that would keep her up at night. Kanye West opens up a Donda school. While this is clearly a next step for any musician, this school claims it will turn your kids into like geniuses or something, said Kanye. It contains worship classes followed by parkour. Just seems like the next step, Centennial. Your move. Poopy fart smelly pants. Um. Shut up. Here's a story of a toddler telling a funny message at five in the morning. Actually, that's not very funny. What would be funny if I punted that little? Taylor Swift drops a new album. 
Glad people who cry on their public stories and have breakups on the daily tell themselves that they aren't the problem and everyone else is crazy. Still have very decent music taste, a very mediocre one at that, but taste. Taste. Leslie Jordan was an established actor who made a career off his humor. He was very talented and we're gonna miss him. Here on Weekly Update, we don't like to touch sensitive topics, but we would like a moment of silence for Leslie Jordan. Anyways, back to the show. Look at this goofy face Trump is making. Isn't that face just so goofy? He's just so silly sometimes. <laughs> so silly goofy. Halloween is coming up. Make sure to lock your doors and windows. Stay out of dimly lit portions of your home. Stay away from your family members as they may be trying to plot on you. Take all of your valuables and put them somewhere safe. Somewhere I can't get to them. Did you hear about the housing market? It's still going up. Remember the stories of your grandparents trying to buy a house with $10 and a candy wrapper? Sell a kitty. Go ahead. Let me have one. Just a little bit. Any dumb ways to yeah, make money. Yeah, and one money. of them is selling your kidneys on the internet. That's the best way to make money. Wow. You need a quick buck, you sell some organs. What can I say? I'm That's a wrap. Hey Centennial, for Halloween week, we decided to deck out Mr. Minnie's room with Halloween decorations to surprise him. Thank you for watching The Loft. You're watching The Loft. started with this necklace. It has been two weeks since Lucille has disappeared, and I can't help but feel like it's my fault. Growing up at this park, Lucille will always tell me, don't be scared, just come with me. And today, I've decided to go look for her. It's all my fault. Hi, I'm Miss Wingate. I am the American History World History teacher here at Centennial. I've been teaching for a total four months. So my experience at Centennial has been a little unique. Um, when I was doing student teaching, I was doing it online. So this is my first experience ever teaching in person. So it's been a little bit of a learning curve. But Centennial has been a great place to start. The students are all super duper sweet and we just have a good time in my class. The best experience is definitely the people that I work with in my PLC, my neighboring classrooms. They've all been great. They've all been super duper helpful. And without them, I think I'd be kind of lost in 
in my experience as a teacher. So having them there has been the best thing so far. So I relate to the students, I think, pretty well. I just graduated college, so I think I have a little bit more of a social understanding of what the students go through, and I think that helps a little bit more with building relationships as well. My role model is definitely my mom. Um, my mom is my number one best friend, and she is just a rock star in everything she does, and I definitely aspire to be even half of the person that she is. My favorite horror movie, um, I love Halloween, I love horror movies, but my favorite one is definitely any of the Saw movies. I think it's super fascinating and just completely messed up. Uh, I just find it funny in general. <laughs>Welcome back to CSPN. I'm your host, Grayson Strompis. And I'm Luke Stevens. Last Friday, our Knights football team had a big region win against North Springs, winning 38-6. John Z. Barbus led the way with three touchdowns. Cross Country had a competitive region meet last Wednesday at Webridge Park. Our girls' flag football team had a dominant win against Lakeside High School last weekend, winning 34-0. Girls' flag football has another game next Wednesday against Dunwoody High School. And tonight, our Knights football team has another region game against Northview. Kickoff is at 7.30 at the Fortress. The theme is pink out. Everyone show out and be loud. And that's it for this week's Centennial. Hope you enjoy, and we'll see you next episode, and we hope to see you tonight at the Fortress. Go Knights! Mm -hmm.